in a spiritual respect that in order to have a balance of life that one must have in order to survive. That includes water, air, earth. Really simple. We also look, um, one of the stories I wrote here recently, where I used the term terror terrorism. Terrorism, because North America has become fond of the word terrorism. When the most terroristic acts, and in the literal sense of the word terrorism, someone tried to correct me that I didn't know what the name terrorist means. If you could see my heart, you would know how I feel about what is happening to our homelands here. And once it starts, there's no stopping it until you either make it too expensive, as the gentleman was saying beforehand, or that you stop them. We're proposing an international website that lists the CEOs, the boards of directors, and all the people with whom they do business across America. Their phone numbers, their emails, their uh, The energy is well and good, but carrying it out is more important. Uh, and their uh, cell phones, if we can get them, and have a 24-hour-a-day influx of protest going on over those phones, even when they change the numbers. Since they change the numbers, they can't keep business up. And to also boycott the businesses with whom they do business. And to stop, it has to be stopped. This is not, this has to be cranked up a notch, in my estimation, because this is some, one of the most dangerous things that's ever happened in the history of humanity. The destruction of the earth, the air, and the water. We need that to survive. We not only need it spiritually, but we need it energetically and humanely, and for survival. We should be doing it for the I also want to make sure everyone knows here that we have to be worried about our public lands, not just private owned places. For the last 16 years, there's been an injunction in place that has not allowed the Shawnee National Forest Forest Service to do any extraction of timber, of gas or oil. Right now, federal uh, Judge Bill Gilbert is reviewing arguments that were presented on February 16th. He's going to decide whether or not to lift that injunction. And that's going to happen in a month or so. Most likely, it will be lifted in some form or another. In other parts of the country, uh, hydrofracking has taken place on public lands. And it's a horrible thing. I just want to remind people that we need to be concerned about that as well and to learn more about that issue. We can't really petition the judge. You can write letters to the editor and realize that the fight that was fought before about the Shawnee is coming back. And it may be a coincidence, but I don't think so. The Forest Service has waited 16 years to try and lift this injunction. So, um, this is more of a question for like the city and the county um, officers. Um, um, I'm a student here. Obviously, this isn't my district. There's a whole community of students who you don't represent. We've got our own representatives, you know, in our hometown. Um, but there is a community of students who are concerned about this, don't know what to do, can't do anything, um, you know, I can't call you, I can't call my rep the representatives down here, it doesn't, it doesn't mean much up in Chicago to them. Um, so I was just wondering if there's, you know, something, what we can do um, about that, or if, you know, if there's more students can be doing that, that aren't originally from here. Education. Posting showings of gas land, um, taking your talking points, everybody got a pa packet, and everywhere and anywhere you can, start talking to people. Most like this, most of the people that we've gone to and just handed flyers at your normal grocery store have never heard of fracking before, and that's really important. There's only a small pool of people that actually know what this is 
and more importantly, what it does. And talk to your legislators back home because they don't—they probably don't know about it either. But if there's a state bill, there is. The suggestion is also to talk to your state legislators back home. Yes, Rich. I would also point out that someone who lives here eight or nine months of the year can register to vote locally, and then they can have an impact, and then the county will be the representative. If you live here only seasonally because you're a student, you can also register to vote here and have an impact on the local government. 30 days is a residency requirement in Illinois, isn't it? Or, I think so, yeah. It's not hard um, to do. Probably as... You become more and more aware of this, you're going to start seeing more and more um, articles and things online. You know, we just uh, saw a, a news article yesterday that says that the American fracking frenzy is creating so much gas that we don't have anywhere to store it. We're finding women's reproductive rights um, are being damaged because the chemicals used in fracking are affecting their fertility, are causing breast cancer, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the meeting, uh, this greater meeting in about 15 minutes and start our working meeting. And I just wanted to uh, open it up the last 15 minutes if there's anything that anybody else would like to offer or some actions that you've already started taking that we haven't yet followed up on. I'm thinking having been downsized from a healthcare company that wasn't paid their Medicaid bill by the state, and some of these health hazards are going to create problems with other counties that rely quite highly on Medicaid clinics. It's going to be a cost to the state that they already can't afford if they let these companies come in and create further health havoc in the community and in the state budget. Hey, my name's Bob, and it wasn't clear from my comment earlier about symbolic action. I can be plenty loud from the back of the room. But, but as uh, much as I am a proponent of symbolic action, I think strategic action is far more important. Um, and so, you know, the kind of issues that Sabrina just brought up, the hidden costs, um, if the group's going to move forward effectively, it really must think about, like, every strategy possible, and not only marching or screaming and yelling, but uh, work in Congress. You know, work in the back halls because the folks that uh, in 2004 and 2005 kind of slipped this in did so by working those same rooms and putting the tie on and, you know, doing that thing. And, and you know, if you want to fight it at the highest level, you got to you got to walk that walk. So <laughs> I would just encourage the working group and any of us that get in any way involved in it to really uh, think across the spectrum from direct action to the long slog. Yes, thank you. Along those lines, I have been in touch with people who are working on this in other states, and they consistently say the most effective way is to start local and build. I think we should hit it from every angle, but we cannot forget starting local. Start with your neighbors, your friends, and your town, and your county, take it to the state. So that's something else that we wanted to point out is that hit it from every angle and don't don't forget starting local in building because that's been successful in New York State especially. They've been really successful in getting a lot of local bands going in New York State. Come on up if you want. Are you going to have regular meetings? That's a great question for our next in a few minutes. We'll have like a working meeting for anyone who wants to really get their hands dirty. <laughs> Um, I think we need to set that up. I think we need to get more formal and more organized, and that's what we need to discuss next. That's a great idea. I, a few of us have been really towing the line, and we're ready to really spread it out. We need help. We need everyone to get involved who can develop specific strategies. That's, that's what we need to do next. That's a great idea. <laughs>